So excited to talk with Luke Smallbone. Of course, you know him from For King and Country. Yeah, how's it going? Oh, it's good. Thanks for taking a a moment to to chat with me, man. I I always appreciate it. Oh, we appreciate you. Anytime. So you've got the Christmas concerts coming here. You've got two of them in our area. We love that. Yeah. Uh, I bet there will be some people that go to both, December 2nd in Everett and December 4th in Abbotsford. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. Uh, hopefully. I mean, God willing, right? That's the, that's the plan. <laughs> I, you know, I've often said that I love Christmas shows because um, uh, the Beatles are probably considered, right, the greatest musicians to have ever lived, right? Yeah. Uh, but they, they wrote the songs in the 60s and 70s, right? Right. Uh, C.S. Lewis has this great quote where he says, you know, the, the only books really worth reading are the ones that have been around for 50 years because if they've lasted 50 years, they're actually worth reading. Yeah. And I think that Christmas songs laugh at the Beatles, all right? Because you're talking <laughs> about, like, Silent Night, you're talking about Oh Holy Night, you're talking about Oh Come, Oh Come, Emmanuel, Oh Come, Oh Ye Faithful. And these are songs that have been around for, like, hundreds of years. All right, and so I, I like to say that the Christmas, the Christmas is they're the greatest songs ever written, they're the greatest songs in the world, and uh, we're we're looking forward to bringing it to you guys. Now, how much of the concert will be Christmas? Is it a whole Christmas show, or do you also do some of your other classics? Yeah. So what we've realized is, is you know, people people want to come and see you. Uh, for the you know the songs that you're known by, if that makes sense, yeah. and then they want to have their Christmas memories uh, with you, and so we probably do 60, 40, 60 being Christmas, 40 being uh, kind of our original stuff, but uh, and, it, and it, it may fluctuate up and down uh, just uh, a little bit depending on you know kind of what's going on, but yeah, there'll be for the most part, I think we play almost our entire Christmas album. And then we'll sprinkle in some some of the other the biggest songs that people may know us by. Love that. Now we've seen a ship on stage. We've yeah. seen elevators <laughs> go up and down. <laughs> yeah. If this is Christmas, I'm just guessing. I'm just. Is there going to be a sleigh? Is there going to be a sleigh? <laughs> I don't think. I don't think anybody wants me sitting in a sleigh, a, or dressed up as a uh, a rotund uh, man dressed in red. Uh, no. So you know. No. No. Uh, any other bells and whistles that uh, you oh, might want to tease us with? Yeah, there's always bells. We have this, um, uh, you know, we have this moment where we we get up in this. Uh, it's almost like a um, Christmas chandelier, and oh. it can kind of go up and down from the stage. And what happens is, is we will actually have our carol moment, and we will be floating, you know, twenty twenty five feet up in the air, literally in the midst of all the people singing carols together and it is just it's a special it's a special thing you know they'll they'll cut wow. their kind of their lights kind of representing the candles and it's just you you look around and you're singing silent night together it's uh, it's a moment that uh, i know i don't forget and uh, hopefully others won't either love that I'm so it's kind of like the phantom of for king and country is what you're saying <laughs> Man, I'm swe- if I could be the phantom of the king country, well, hey, I would be phantom. I wouldn't probably be here, but, uh, but uh, they couldn't find me, I guess. But, uh, you know, I think that, uh, you know, it's funny. I- I've reflected a lot on, like, people like, man, you guys do some pretty crazy things with the shows. And I'm always kind of like, why not? You know, it's, it's fun. But the other thing is, is I realized, like, Jesus, when he um, spoke about things, he spoke in parables. And I don't think it was just because he's making them think. He's, he's, he's actually doing it to keep their attention. Yeah. And so if, it, if he's doing it to keep their attention, that actually means that he was entertaining. That actually exactly. means that he was doing intentional things uh, to grab people. And I think that's essentially what we're trying to do. We're trying to grab people. We're trying to, you know, these days, you know, teenagers, you're competing with their cell phone, right? Yeah. And their cell phone is a very, very dangerous thing. When, if you lose a teenager <laughs> to, a, to a cell phone, they're not coming back for the whole evening. So we've got to figure out ways uh, to keep their attention all the way through. That's, that's awesome. That's a great idea. Okay, so, Luke, here's a question for you. July is typically the month when you start writing Christmas songs. So do you have anything brand new for us this year? Not this Christmas. We, <laughs> okay. we had... Uh... We had grand plans, and I, you know, I, you get what you get with me. So I just tell you exactly. I, I may, I, maybe I shouldn't say any of this, but I'll just tell you. Uh, we can edit it. Out. We were, we were gonna do. No, no, no. You can, you can keep it. But we were gonna do a Christmas song this year, uh, just to kind of keep adding on. And we just, we just got too busy, and, and just, it just life just kind of got uh, a little hectic. So there will be more. We actually have a plans for a specific song. 
uh, at some point, but we 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 couldn't, we couldn't get around to it uh, this year, and it is what it is. So uh, maybe next year. I, I just told you a very sad story. I'm so sorry, but yes, uh, but not this year. Maybe next. Well, you said busy. So what is going on in the lives of the for King and Country crew and the families? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, look, I think that busyness is one of the great distractions of of faith and life. So I don't like to use that as a crux. I think I remember once again C.S. Lewis in his. Uh, a, a screw tape letter book. He was like, "Oh, they've become Christians. You know, how do we impact them from from here?" And I think that the uncle, you know, says, "Well, you make them busy." So I don't like being busy, but yes, <laughs> we've, we've been working on we've been working on uh, a, a film actually uh, called Unsung Hero, and it's about our parents' uh, journey from Australia uh, to America. When we came to America, we were really, really poor, and, and we had all this, like, the local community and, and God just showed up and did some very, very unique things in, uh, in, in and amidst our family. And uh, we were raking leaves and mowing lawns and, and trying to figure out ways to, to survive. And so, anyway, we, we filmed that film uh, in October of last year, and Lionsgate came to us and said they want to release it theatrically uh, next year, April 26th, wow. is what it's looking like. And so that's the thing that kept this... Uh, Kept us pretty busy. We made a movie years ago called Priceless, and uh, I've often yes. said that uh, if you're stupid enough uh, to make a movie, you should at least do it again uh, to right all the wrongs that you did the first time. You know, so this is uh, this is our second go at it. Well, that was uh, a great movie, and I didn't see any wrongs in that. But yep. you know, uh, it's in the eye of the beholder, and especially when you were the one who who helped build it, uh, yeah, you see well, things that most of the audience don't catch. <laughs> Yeah, smoke and mirrors, folks. Smoke and mirrors. <laughs> there we go. Well, we can't wait to see your smoke and mirrors and hear you singing. Yeah. Uh, Little Drummer Boy Christmas. So excited for all of our listeners in our area, and it's going to be beautiful. Well, thank you guys. Appreciate you. You guys have always been uh, dear friends of our families and, and me and my brother, and uh, we're looking forward to making some special Christmas memories uh, with you all. So thank you guys for taking the time to chat with me today. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. And that concert happening December 2nd in Everett and December 4th in Abbotsford. Thank you so much for joining us. Hey, thank you, man. Appreciate you guys. All right. Take care. Hey, Luke. Hey, thanks, guys. Have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your day. You all too. Right.